So Joycey, we're here on a nice sunny day at the Avon Gorge. I just want to ask you a question. What are you going to miss about Bristol? The first thing I'll probably miss is my well, hobbies is obviously not, not into much except for football and rugby. So probably Bristol City. I'll probably miss Bristol City the most. Watching like convolution rugby. Like for example, this weekend, watching City play Burnley on Saturday, getting straight in the car and driving to uh, a lot of these sports centres to watch cycling in the final against ball playing. So yeah, probably probably the sport in the city, especially moving to uh, moving to Ireland with, uh, to go away. I'll be doing a bit of travelling to, to watch a game. So yeah, it'll be the the sport available to you to watch in the city. What about you, Andrew? Probably my family. I miss quite a bit. Um, never really been away. Never left the city. So miss that, miss my friends. Um, it's real easy to go meet them down the pub or come to the, come to the games, etc. So probably miss that a lot. Um, I probably just miss how familiar I am with the city. Um, it's real easy to know places or go for coffee, things like that. So those are probably the main things. I'll probably be the same with you, but my family as well. Obviously, I've got a massive family, and I, I do get to catch up with a lot of them if it's. In and around Southmead or at the games at Bristol City, um, it's more like a support system. Let me talk about the mm. how familiar are with everything, even little things like if your car goes wrong. Got, I know an MOT man. When you make carpet's done, I know someone. I need a painter. I know someone. I always know someone. So uh, yeah, now I have to start paying real prices for things. Now I won't be getting any handouts. Have you got two or three highlights from your time playing for Bristol? Probably. First time that'd be my debut. Um, made it with my brother, I think you were playing in it. Yeah. Genji was playing in it. Uh, I was 17 at the time. So that was uh, that was probably a big highlight. Uh, second highlight, probably after we got promoted um, to the premiership when we played Bath. Um, one massive set out stadium. I think it's the first time I actually get sold out of rugby. We won that, that was class. So those are my probably two biggest highlights. What about you? Uh, I see my first one. I won't say debuts, that's an easy one. Yeah. Uh, I'll say probably my my premiership debut was the first year we got promoted in a while at Twickenham against Quinn. I was on the bench and I was, I think I was 21, 22, which uh, I didn't really expect it because I didn't play much year before. And then we signed quite a few locks, so I had a good pre-season, so getting the squad for that was, was special. And then this one probably surprised people. Um, probably we played La Rochelle. Oh, yeah. Away. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was a good We one. went there with a very young team, all EQP. Yeah. Oh, probably a week inside against a La Rochelle side uh, full of internationals. No one gave us a chance. Uh, the bookies probably had it. 15 year old La Rochelle set out. A uh, night game. A night game. And uh, yeah, we went there and we won. I think we touched the ball twice still game, I suspect. So uh, we beat a La Rochelle away with. A young, a young team. I think I was the oldest. I was about 23. Do you remember uh, in that Larishal game when I remember it? I was on the bench, no surprise, and um, come on, and the whole uh, Larishal stadium starts cheering and drums start going off, and I was like 21, whatever at the time. Pretty big in France. And turn around, and that potty is running on behind me. <laughs> Andy at 21 thought he was a celebrity in La Rochelle, was okay. Thought he was coming at the same time and all go mad. He's like, no, no, I am. In yeah. France, in a certain round, there's a lot of you. And hey, what did he do to you? Yeah, he chucked me about 10 foot in the air, 10 minutes there, didn't he? What an ideal. <laughs> nah, it's good. Great win, that. A good night out after as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Joycey, um, one thing I'm going to miss about you is, uh, well, you're one of my best mates on and off the field, but um, the relationship we have, I think, if I think of you and I think of me, I think when we played Saracens away uh, at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, uh, I had just pulled my hamstring a couple of weeks before, so I was watching on TV with my mates, and it was a real good game. We were it was real tight. They were obviously the best well, team. You were playing well, yeah. Um, we were losing by I think four points, four yeah. or five points, uh, four points. Thirty seconds left. Yeah, uh, Joycey, you made a class break straight down. I was in the pub with my mates, cheering it on. Go past Jack Bates, scores in the corner for the winner. Everyone gets mental in the pub, and then there's a replay, and it's, uh, the time is up on the clock, and, and you threw a four pass. 
and I knew you'd be proper gutted by it. So first thing I did, got my phone out, messaged you, cheers mate, you lost us the game. <laughs> now I'll correct that, you said, well done mate, you cost us five points. Yeah, uh, and that was when we were, it was pretty tight game. Yeah. Um, but I just think back now, I reckon on that run, the four to four pass, I reckon I beat more defenders than Andy has this season. <laughs> Genuine, I think I have. Yeah, my <laughs> but no, but no as... my thing I miss about about me and his relationship is I don't think many people can survive in the shit me and Andy got. Like the things we say to each other is is mental and do to each other and we love it. Andy is so personal and horrible to me, it is mental. And I give it to a back sometimes. The most recent one I think he said to me was, your body is the, the only body I would not like to have in the squad, he said. If I put rigs on the list, was, I would not want to live in your body. I laughed it off. Cheers, Andrew. Cheers, John. <laughs> is that right? <laughs>